In this video, I'm going to be doing two cold starts, one of my GS300 and the Ridgeline. We're going to go ahead and start with the Lexus. But before we do it, I want to show you guys what I was doing. If any of you remember the wood, well, wood trim that I had in here. After a couple days, I came to the decision that I want to get rid of it. I don't want to play with you anymore. So <laughs> there it is right there. Um, also did it in the back. Show you along there. And honestly, with it being gone, even though there are a couple marks from where my flatheads and gasket scrapers hit, it looks, definitely looks a lot better without it. And to be completely honest, with it being, I think it's two degrees now, but last night it was like minus six, this stuff came off easily because it was a lot of 3M material and uh, stuff like that. So without further ado, we'll start with the Lexus, get the key in. That's honestly so cool. Let's get right to it. I'll just shut this off because I know it's probably going to come on. But yeah, it's saying one degree right there. I'll just turn that off. I actually don't know how to. We'll just do that. There we go. You guys can see it's pretty cold still so the hydraulics are still kind of iffy might also be the snow as well Check engine lights on as well as you guys can see right here I don't know it's weird it comes on and off I'm pretty sure it's just the exhaust leak because the engines pretty healthy but I'll show you guys I've only drove three kilometers so far well I've done a whole bunch driving at home and whatnot but yeah As you guys can see, the clock's still a little bit behind, so we'll try and fix that right now. It's gonna be 4.53 soon, so we'll go ahead, change it to that. And it's still idling just around 1100 rpm and there you go clock's fixed seat bell lights just still flashing and a parking brake those warning lights for lights as well and then the vsc but yeah as i was saying about the trim that i had in here 
I think it's definitely a lot better. I feel like this opens a lot easier. This is still kind of the same. It's still just rel to relatively slow. But I'm not too worried about that. Also, I just noticed there's a light in here. How about that? Looks like they tried to put one in here as well. That's actually pretty cool. It's today a year old for that. But now it looks like the RPMs are dropped. It's just a hardware fix that I got to do for down here. But yeah. Another thing I'm hoping for is hopefully I can wire these two sign markers here up. If I can get them to go with the turn signals, that would be perfect. Because I think these ones here, they just stay on. They don't really, they don't flash. So... Let's get to the ridge line. Go ahead, power it off, we'll put the window up. Alrighty. Okay. And now let's go ahead and do the ridge line. I think I'll do a remote start for this. Well, so what we'll do, we'll go to this side. And do this. As you can see, it's relatively quiet. As you guys can see, it's pretty healthy still. No fearful knocking and such. here now one thing you guys probably noticed is that when we remote start the vehicle um, as soon as I got in the fans were a little bit higher than before so one thing that's interesting about this I'll turn these heated seats off one interesting thing about this truck is that when you remote start it it'll what I think it does is that it detects the temperature of inside and outside the vehicle. So what it'll do is that it'll try and defrost your windshield and windows all together. Cause there are some vehicles that I know that don't do it. So it's actually pretty cool that this does it. It also turns on the heated steering wheel, which is pretty cool. And the heated windshield wipers as well. And yeah. And obviously if you have your heated seats on it might do it. I actually don't think it does because once you turn the vehicle on, because you won't see these lit up when you enter the vehicle. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's pretty, it's pretty quiet still. And when you give it a couple revs, of course it gets loud there. And there you go, a healthy J series for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So until then, take it easy.